With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? The speed of transverse wave on a string is given as to be V. Now, if the tension is, is increased by a factor of 4 and the radius is increased by a factor of 2, we need to find the new speed of the wave. Okay. So, in a string, for a string, how is our velocity related with tension and uh, this radius? So, the uh, formula for the velocity is square root. In the square root, it is T by mu. Okay. Where V is the velocity, T is the tension, mu is mass per unit length. Mu is what? Mu is mass divided by length. Now, how can we write mass? Mass could be written as density into volume divided by length. How can we write volume uh, uh, for a string? Volume could be written as area into length. Okay, area that means cross sectional area pi r square area multiplied by length divided by length. Now, this relation would give us mu value as to be uh, rho times pi r square. Okay, now our formula could be modified as like this v equals to t divided by rho times pi r square in the square root this would be the formula so from here we can see that our velocity is directly proportional to square root of tension and divided by square root of r square would be what it would be r inversely proportional to r directly proportional to square root of square root of t now if we take uh, uh, two uh, tension values uh, sorry velocities value we say that v2 divided by v1 what would be the relationship between v2 and v1 so for v2 it would be proportional to square root of t2 okay divided by inversely proportional to r2 for v1 it would be directly proportional to because v1 is written into be the denominator we are taking the ratio so it would be t1 and it would be inversely proportional to its radius so it would be r1 so what is the relationship which is given tension is increased by a factor of 4 so for example if the initial tension if the initial tension we just write the value of tension is t this t1 value is t so what is the final value of tension it is 4 times t in the square root now what about the radius radius is doubled uh, radius is twice so for example if r is the initial radius now what is the radius now it is 2 r so what would be this result into so v2 divided by v1 what would be the value so r and r would be cancelled square root uh, t square root t would be cancelled and what is the value of square root 4 it is equals to 2 divided by 2 so what would be the relationship between v2 and v1 so we say that v2 would be same as v1 Okay, and V1 was given as to be V. So the correct uh, uh, answer for V2 would be that it would be same as that of V. So which is the correct option? Correct option is our V option, which is equals to V. So hope you understood this solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.